Yeah, I'll go ahead. Um, have you got any tips for people that cannot get their protein intake in? I think you mentioned adding egg whites, adding egg whites to oats and green yeah, powder. Yeah, so um, I guess cannot. I need to. I need some context. Like, why can they not? Um, I'm not sure. They just they're they're struggling to. They have a history of not eating enough protein. I guess. Um, got it. Okay. Um, how much protein do you have this person eating? Well, 140 grams. Is it a male or a female? Female. How, how large is she? Uh, they vary from 160 pounds up to 230 pounds. Okay. Has she ever had any like stomach issues or anything? Uh, not that I know of. Any GI problems? Um, IBS, yeah. Okay, so, so it may be a good idea. This is probably what I would do is I would start her off doing maybe like a combo meal, shake, meal, shake, or shake, meal, shake, meal. Because what essentially would happen is that for people who aren't used to eating protein at each meal, they can get kind of bound up. You know what I mean? Because their bodies just aren't used to metabolizing it or breaking it down. Now, if this specific individual had some sort of... Um, I guess some sort of GI issue to where the uh, the digestive enzymes responsible for the breakdown of the protein she's eating were not as active, it would be harder for her to break those things down because they are so like thick and tough. So normally with people who have a similar problem, um, I would recommend maybe having like eggs or something at breakfast and then maybe just doing a protein shake around lunch and then eating another real food meal and then maybe doing a shake before bed. And in many cases, this will be easier on the GI because it's just less to digest. Now, I'll also say this. If 140 gram is just too much for this gal, like how much protein was she eating before she started with you? It was well under 100 grams, like 80 grams average. Okay, so, you know, starting out relatively conservative and building up as she adapts can be helpful too. So for a lot of people, you know, 140 grams for like a general population type of client, that'd be very excessive. You know, that would be uh, basically taking a sock, let's just say as an example, I'm not trying to call anybody out, but you take a soccer mom who has protein once per day and then you try to get her to be a bodybuilder. The transition between that is a lot for somebody psychologically and physiologically if they're not used to digesting that amount of protein. So I'd probably say start them off around 110, one, you know, 110, 115, 120, somewhere around there, something more realistic and break it down for them in a manner that they really understand. So they could say, um, just as an example, you should be eating four meals per day. Each meal should contain this amount of this food or one scoop of protein. So now instead of having to eat four or five protein meals per day and cook five times, she could actually say, oh, I just need two shakes and two meals. Easy. No problem. So it's kind of meeting them where they're at, I guess, instead of kind of meeting them where you want them to go. Thanks, Will. Yep.